Ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, members of the Roll the Tape film crew. Well, it's official now. Connor Ben is vindicated. His hearing went in his favor and he's cleared now. Not only is he cleared in the UK, but now he's cleared all over the world to get back into the ring and resume his boxing career. He was already free to compete in America, of course, as we know, but now he's cleared in his home country, the United Kingdom. Shout out to the UK, all, all of um, the channel supporters and the Roll the Tape family members and my fans in the UK. Oh, I love you too. Now, the thing is, we know that for the last two years, Connor Ben has been fighting um, with all of the regulatory bodies in the UK, um, in, including the British Boxing Board of Control. And basically, he wanted to establish the fact that he was completely innocent and he was willing to sacrifice his career to stand 10 toes down and fight for his innocence and his reputation to be intact because, as we know, he tested positive for a prohibited banned substance. He was um, basically exonerated. And he had a complete hearing and he has been deemed innocent. And so even though he did test positive for a banned substance, um, which was a performance enhancement drug, it was proven that it was not intentional. And so now that he could resume his career where he can compete, not just here in America, in the States, but also back home in his home country of the UK. And the thing about it is that we've seen these things happen in boxing time and time again, where a professional boxer tests positive for a prohibited and banned substance or performance enhancements drug. And we don't know whether it was ingested or injected in them intentionally or unintentionally. Well, I'm sure if it was injected in them, it was definitely intentional. But let's say if it was ingested, um, where they ate some sort of food or some sort of dairy product, or even digesting a supplement and not knowing that what they digested was contaminated. Um, and in Connor Ben's case, I think there was something going on where the eggs that uh, he digested somehow was contaminated with traces or uh, obviously uh, uh, some questionable or suspicious amount of a banned substance. But he is now exonerated. And according to Eddie Hearn, in a recent interview that he conducted, Conor Ben is ready to get back into the ring. He's ready now to resume his career, to overcome all of the adversities that he had to endure, because obviously when a fighter tests positive for a banned substance, they're going to be dubbed and known and recognized as a cheat or a cheater or a drug cheat or a steroid user. And so now to regain momentum, Eddie Hearn said that he's ready for Connor Ben, and Connor Ben is ready to go back to his home country in the UK early in 2025 in a major showdown with a reputable opponent 
and do big numbers. And I'm glad to hear that he was found innocent. And I'm also glad that he stood 10 toes down. Two years sacrificing a lot of resources um, that he basically had to forfeit or potential resources uh, that he had to forfeit uh, on top of his reputation and his name being tarnished. Um, he stood 10 toes down and he fought and fought and fought, uh, scratched and clawed until the system heard him loud enough. And he obviously had presentation of some sort of evidence and um, now he's exonerated. So I appreciate the fact that we do have professional boxers who, in spite of testing positive for a banned substance, and they know in their hearts that they did not um, ingest any prohibited and banned substance intentionally to cheat or to gain an unfair advantage in any of their competitions. Um, they say, look, I'm going to fight this. And I appreciate and respect fighters for doing so, standing on honor, standing on integrity, and standing on righteousness, uh, despite all of the other obstacles that they are confronted by. And it's rare that we get an opportunity to see fighters even go through this whole entire process and then get exonerated. That's rare, but we glad that Conor Ben was exonerated. Um, it's amazing to me that Eddie Hearn talked about Conor Ben jumping right back into the ring, not just to fight in the UK. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to him saying that he would be willing to fight the big names, world title holders. And I'm on include this because I told y'all about a phone booth months ago and I'm going to, when I go live, I might, strong possibility, strong possibility that I might replay uh, portions of a live I conducted months and months ago where I told y'all about a phone booth that when Eddie Hearn signed Jerron Boots Ennis, don't think for one minute he didn't have Conor Ben in mind. And I believe that he always did have him in mind. And by right, as a businessman, he should have. And so Boots is one of the names that Eddie Hearn just said in the recent interview. As of today, when I say recent interview, an interview that was published, I don't remember the um, the uh, journalist because it wasn't one of the American journalists. Um, but... They interviewed Eddie Hearn. And Eddie said he wouldn't mind seeing Conor Ben fight Jerron Boots Ennis. And he named some other names, but I'm referring to Boots. And that would be a major fight for Boots and for Conor. Hey, and I actually think they should fight in the UK. Oh, that would do some wonders for Jerron Ennis' star power and name recognition in another country, which is why I think it was good that he signed with Eddie Hearn. And I talked to you all about that. But back to Conor Ben. I mean, he can fluctuate between 147 and 160 because Conor Ben is a big kid. He's a big guy. He is. And we remember after his last fight in Vegas, he called out Devin Haney. That's interesting too. But Eddie Hearn... He's ready to do business with all the big fighters, but world champions. And so we shall see what's going to happen moving forward with Conor Ben. We're going to give updates uh, to, to basically say, hey, this is Conor Ben's next fight. Let's see how he looks because he's been out the ring for a while. He did have one fight. Obviously, we know he had that one fight here in America in Vegas not too long ago. And we shall see. But Conor Ben is exonerated and we're going to see if he's ready to step up his level of competition, um, not just to fight Boots, but fight any of the top uh, welterweights or, you know, junior middleweights. We'll see. I'm, I'm not sure. But like I said, he's a big guy. 147, 154, 160. I think Conor Ben can compete 
um, at all of those weight classes. Hey, there's nothing wrong with seeing if Chris Eubank Jr. fight him. It's still a big fight over there in the UK, and um, we'll see. Eddie Hearn said that it's it's too premature to you know discover um, what fight is actually next, but they're working on rebuilding them. But we shall see. And you know what? Man, I'm doing way too much talking. Don't take my word for it. Roll the tape.